The Sahara Desert, a vast expanse of endless sandy landscapes and relentless sun, devoid of human presence, is one of the world's most renowned deserts. However, the Sahara's image as an arid and lifeless desert has not always been the case. Beneath the millions of tons of sand lies a hidden history waiting to be uncovered. In this exploration, we embark on a journey to the past to unravel whether this part of the African continent has perpetually been a parched desert, or if there's more to the story beneath the Sahara's sands. The name Sahara originates from a common Arabic word meaning simply desert. Despite common misconceptions, the Sahara Desert is not the largest desert on Earth. That title belongs to the Antarctic Desert. Nonetheless, among deserts characterized by sand, heat, and dunes, the Sahara stands as the largest, covering almost one-third of Africa's entire land area, spanning over 8.5 million square kilometers. It stretches across 10 African countries and is bounded by the Atlantic Ocean, the Red Sea, and the Mediterranean Sea. With each passing year, the desert relentlessly expands southward, claiming an additional 5 to 10 kilometers of territory annually. Contrary to the popular perception of the Sahara as a landscape dominated by towering sand dunes, cacti, and a lack of flora and fauna, only 20% of its terrain is covered by sand. The predominant features are rocky plateaus. Though not teeming with wildlife, the Sahara still hosts approximately 4,000 species, including mammals such as gerbils, gerbos, antelopes, jackals, doom cats, and mongooses. Most of these creatures are nocturnal, seeking shelter from the scorching sun during the day. The desert experiences substantial temperature fluctuations, with average air temperatures reaching 35 degrees Celsius, while the sun can heat the sand to more than twice that temperature, creating a furnace-like environment. The Sahara Desert is characterized by a hot and arid climate with minimal precipitation, averaging only 75 millimeters of rain annually. The highest recorded temperature in the Sahara is nearly 58 degrees Celsius, while nighttime temperatures can plummet to almost zero degrees, with frosts occurring in mountain plateaus, where temperatures can drop as low as minus 18 degrees. Despite its harsh climate, the Sahara is not devoid of flora. It boasts over 30 species of endemic plants, including ferns, ficus trees, acacia, cacti, and date palms. Temperature fluctuations contribute to the erosion of rocks, transforming them into sand, which replenishes the desert's sand layer. Sand dunes in the Sahara can soar to heights of up to 200 meters, and some dunes create peculiar sounds, producing a mesmerizing melody as wind-driven sand grains vibrate. Additionally, unique sections of the Sahara contain transparent fragments of weathered glass, believed to have formed from ancient meteorite impacts. Mirages are another captivating feature of the Sahara. Travelers often encounter mirages that make distant oases with water and palm trees appear deceptively close, when in reality, reaching them may require traversing hundreds of kilometers. Mirages are optical phenomena that occur due to the refraction of light at the boundary between air layers differing in density and temperature. The Sahara is home to over 150,000 observed mirages, and maps have even been created to identify places where they are frequently seen. Mirages present an illusion where not only the actual object, but also its reflection in the atmosphere becomes visible. One of the Sahara's most remarkable and enigmatic features is the Richard structure. Located in Mauritania, this colossal ring structure spans 50 kilometers in diameter and dates back several hundred million years. For a long time, it served as a distinctive reference point for astronauts, as it is easily visible from orbit, serving as the only prominent landmark in the vast expanse of this seemingly unremarkable desert. There are several hypotheses regarding the formation of this structure, with one suggesting that erosion played a key role. The highest point within the Sahara is the peak of Emakusi, standing at an elevation of 3 kilometers and 400 meters above sea level. The desert also harbors rich deposits of oil and gas. Under the influence of southern winds, the Sahara gives rise to colossal sandstorms, which subsequently affect surrounding countries and sometimes rage for days. For instance, powerful winds carry sand-laden clouds from the Sahara to the African island nation of Cape Verde annually, causing significant inconveniences for local residents. 
Remarkably, despite the harsh conditions, the Sahara is home to around 2 million people, primarily consisting of Berber and Tuareg populations. In medieval times, trade caravans traversed the desert with the largest known caravan, according to Arab historians, consisting of nearly 12,000 camels. To unveil some of the Sahara's most significant secrets, one must venture deep into its heart. Hidden beneath its many dunes lies a treasure trove, vast underground groundwater reservoirs. These underground water pools give rise to the oases scattered across the Sahara, areas rich in vegetation. Most oases form where water from subterranean river surfaces. Several countries within the Sahara region engage in the extraction of this invaluable liquid. The northeastern part of the Sahara, which includes Sudan, Chad, Egypt, and Libya, boasts the most fertile aquifers. Libya, in particular, has an extensive aquifer system. Extraction of underground water began here in the 1970s, and a monumental project commenced in 1983 with the aim of supplying drinking water to parched Libyan settlements. By 1996, regular water supplies were established for all major cities in the country. This colossal system, known as the Great Man-Made River, delivers an astonishing six and a half million cubic meters of drinking water every day. In 2008, it was recognized by the Guinness Book of Records as the largest irrigation project globally. Comprising 1,300 wells, each exceeding 500 meters in depth, alongside numerous water pipes and reservoirs, the Great Man-Made River is a testament to the Sahara's hidden generosity. Contrary to its current image, the Sahara was once a green forest teeming with lush vegetation, white grass meadows, and clear lakes approximately 8,000 years ago. There were also primitive settlements where people cultivated the land and raised livestock. The region even boasted a substantial river, the Taman Reset, flowing into the Atlantic Ocean. In 2015, using three-dimensional satellite imagery, researchers discovered remnants of this ancient river, along with the former boundaries of Lake Chad, which was once significantly larger and deeper than its present form. Some experts believe that, in the next 10 to 12,000 years, the Sahara could potentially turn green again. Various hypotheses have been proposed to explain the transformation of this green region into an arid desert, with some attributing it to overgrazing by livestock that prevented plant growth, while others contend that livestock grazing may have extended the Sahara's green period by 500 years. Still, others argue that shifts in the Earth's axis, which alter sunlight intensity, played a pivotal role. The Sahara's history stretches back to the Mesozoic era, when it was an ocean known as Tethys, inhabited by ancient giant creatures like whales, snakes, turtles, and dinosaurs. The separation of continents led to the disappearance of this ocean, and today, the Sahara contains fossilized remains of these prehistoric creatures, including one of the world's largest dinosaurs. This area is now known as the Valley of the Whales. The Sahara Desert, often perceived as an unforgiving expanse of sand and scorching sun, holds a rich tapestry of geological, biological, and historical secrets beneath its seemingly barren surface. It's a place where mirages play tricks on the eyes, sand dunes sing in the wind, and hidden aquifers sustain life and development. Far from being an unchanging landscape, the Sahara's history reveals a past lush with greenery and life, and it continues to evolve offering a glimpse into Earth's complex and dynamic natural history. As we conclude our exploration of the Sahara's hidden wonders, we'd love to hear from you. What aspect of the Sahara Desert's history or features surprise you the most? Share your thoughts in the comments below. And if you're hungry for more captivating content, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click on the next video to continue your journey with us on Revel Discovery.